Let us open our Bible to the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 32, Exodus 32, Exodus 32, Calf Idol, Calf Idol, Golden Calf the Idol, from verses 1 to 35, in the story of the molten or golden calf. Uh, the Israelites are guilty of being impatient for Yahweh's manifestation in the tabernacle, but it is their idolatry that condemns them. Exodus 32 verses 1 to 6, the people cause Aaron to make a golden calf. There is a cause and effect a relationship between uh, the, the absence of leadership and the practice of idolatry. While Moses is gone for 40 days and nights, uh, as we see it in Exodus 24 verse 18, receiving instructions about building the tabernacle, the Israelites use his absence as a pretext for taking immoral action, seizing the opportunity for creating an image of God. While Moses was in, uh, in the mount receiving the law from Yahweh, the people made a, tumul a tumultuous address to Aaron. These giddy multitude were weary of waiting for the return of Moses. A weariness in waiting betrays too many tempt temptation. Weariness in waiting betrays too many, many temptations. The Lord must be waited for till he comes and waited for through so 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 he tarry let their readiness to part with their earrings to make an idol shame our niggardliness our stinginess in the services of the true god they did not draw back on account of the cost of their idolatry, and shall we grudge the expenses of Christianity? Aaron produced the shape of an ox or calf, giving, giving it some finish with the, a grazing tool. They offered sacrifice to this idol having set up an image before them and so changed the truth of God into a lie, their sacrifices were, were abomination, abomination. Had they not only a few days before in this very place heard the voice of the Lord Yahweh, speaking to them out of the midst of the fire, thou shalt not make to thyself any graven image, said the Lord. Had they not themselves solemnly entered into covenant with God, that they would do all he had said to them and would be obedient, this is in Exodus 24 verse 7. Yet, before they, before they stirred for the place where this covenant had been, had been solemnly made, they, they break an express command in defiance of an express threatening. It plainly shows that the law was no more able to make holy than it was to justify. 
but it is the knowledge of sin but the cure of sin. Aaron was set apart by the divine appointment to the office of, uh, of the priesthood. But he who had once shamed himself so far as to build an altar of a golden calf must own himself unworthy of the honor of attending at the altar of God and indebted to free grace alone for it. Thus pride, pride and boasting were silenced. Exodus 32 verses 7 to 14. God's displeasure the intercession of Moses. The Mosaic Covenant ratified approximately one month before Israel's idolatry defines the relationship Israel has with Yahweh. In Moses' appeal for his people on Mount Sinai, he does not refer to the Mosaic Covenant because the law can only condemn, it cannot save. When Moses appeals to Yahweh, he appeals to the Abrahamic covenant made centuries before. The law is Yahweh's provis provisional covenant given to humanity because of its depravity but it is not the cure. If the promises of the Abrahamic covenant are to be fulfilled, it would have been, it would have to be by some other covenant than the Mosaic covenant. The Mosaic covenant could not change a human, human heart. The root problem of sin, striving to keep the law in order to be saved and sanctified is true folly because we all suffer from the same ailment, sin. Idolatry seeks to replace what cannot be seen with something that can be seen. It is physically, idolatry is physically oriented. Thus, the underlying issue of idolatry is faith. Since the faith focuses on one is not seen, as it is said in Hebrew 11 verse 1. God says to Moses that the Israelites had corrupted themselves. Sin is the sinner's corruption, and it is a self-corruption. Corruption here, uh, being uh, being here being uh, to be to is here is here to be understood as stain stain stain. Every man is tempted when he is drawn aside of his own lusts. They had turned aside, turn aside out of the way. Sin is a departing from the way of duty into a bypath. They soon forgot God's, God's work. Yahweh sees what they cannot discover, nor is any wickedness of the world hid from him. We could not bear to see the thousandth part of that evil which God sees every day. God expresses the greatness of his just displeasure after the manner of men who believed the prayer of Moses could save them from ruin. Thus he was a type of grass by, by whose mediation alone God could reconcile, God would reconcile the world to himself. 
Moses pleads God's glory, the glorifying God's name as it had to be our first petition. And it is so in the Lord's Supper prayer. So it had to be our great plea. And God's promise, God's promises are to be our plea in prayer. For what he has promised, he is able to perform. See the power of prayer. In answer to the prayers of Moses, Yahweh showed his purpose of sparing the people as he had before seemed determined on their destruction, which change of the outward discovery of his purpose is called repenting of the evil. Exodus 32 verses 15 to 20, Moses breaks the tables of the law he destroys the god the golden calf verses 15 to 35 the irony of the dialogue between moses and yahweh earlier in exodus uh, chapters 3 to 4 in which god provides the iron as moses spoke men spokesman is shown here Moses is empowered by his fear of Yahweh whereas Aaron is fumbling because of his failure Yahweh reveals his righteousness in response to the sins of the Israelites Aaron reveals his unrighteousness it is not enough for us, namely to recognize the depravity of humanity. We must resist it. What a change it is to come down from the mind of communion with God and to converse with a wicked world. In God we see nothing but what is pure and pleasing. In the world, nothing but what is sinful and provoking. That it might appear an idol is that it that it might appear an idol is nothing in the world. Moses, Moses, grind the calf to dust, to dust that it might appear and I uh, that the, uh, the idol might appear as nothing in the world mixing this powder with with the drink signified that the backslider in heart should be filled with his own ways Exodus 32 verses 21 to 29 Aaron's excuse the idolaters slain Never did any wise man make a more frivolous and foolish excuse than that of our own. We must never be drawn into sin by any man, by anything man can say or do to us. For men can but tempt us to sin, they cannot force us. The approach of Moses turned the dancing into trembling. They were exposed to shame by their sin. The course Moses took to roll away this reproach was not by concealing the sin or putting any false color upon it, but by punishing it. The Levites were to slay the ringleaders in this wickedness, yet none were executed but those who openly stood forth. 
Those are marked for ruin who persist in sin. Those who in the morning were shouting and dancing before night were dying. Such so sudden, such sudden changes to the judgment of the Lord sometimes make uh, with sinners that are secure or jovial in their sin. Exodus 32 verses 30 to 35. Moses prays for the people. Moses calls it a great sin. The work of ministers is to show people the greatness of their sins. The great evil of sin appears in the price of pardon. Moses plead, pleads with Yahweh for mercy. He came not to make excuses, but to make atonement. We are not to suppose that Moses means that he would be willing to perish forever for people's sake. We are to love our neighbor as ourselves and not more than ourselves. But having that mind which was in Christ, he was willing to lay down his life in the most painful manner, if he might thereby preserve the people. Moses could not wholly turn away the wrath of God, which shows that the law of Moses was not able to reconcile men to God and to perfect and to perfect our peace with him. In Christ alone, Yahweh so pardons sin as to remember it no more. From this history, we see that no unhumble carnal heart can long endure the holy precepts, the humbling thoughts, the humbling truths, and the spiritual worship of God. But a God, a priest, a worship, a doctrine, and a sacrifice suited to the carnal mind will ever, will ever meet with abundance of worshippers. The very gospel itself may be so perverted as to sweet a worldly taste. Well, is it for us that the prophet like unto Moses, but who is beyond compare, more powerful and merciful, has made atonement for our souls and now intercedes in our behalf. Let us rejoice in his grace. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. I give you, I give you the, uh, let us, let us go on. Let us go over these prayer points. Let us pray against the spirit of impatience and for the grace of, of faith, faith. Thank you that you are the Lord, Yahweh. The compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am a sinner and my heart is naturally inclined to do evil. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you for your precious gift of the blood of Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am guilty of being impatient for Yahweh's manifestation, but it is my idolatry that condemns me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Holy Spirit of Yahweh, do not allow weariness in waiting betray me to temptations. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. 
empower me to wait for the Lord till he comes and wait for so he tarry. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let my readiness to part with precious possessions to make an idol shame my niggardliness in the service of the true God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will be careful not to change the truth of God into a lie and thus turn my sacrifices into an abomination. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, empower me to show the fruit of the Spirit with love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control against which there is no law. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. By your grace, Father Yahweh, I will be patient to the coming of the Lord and to your answer to my prayers. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Behold, the, the farmer, the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth and has long patience for it until he receive, and he receive the earth, the early and latter rain. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, empower me to glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, strengthen me with all might according to your glorious power, to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I believe that by my endurance, my patience, I will gain my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For to those who by patience in well-doing seek the glory and honor and immortality, God will give eternal life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not be sluggish, but imitator of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. When my way is blocked, and the Lord says, says, wait, I will trust him and wait. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Because if I run ahead without consulting him, my plans will probably not be his plans, and they will bring shame on me rather than glory. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For thus said Yahweh God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. The Lord Yahweh waits to be gracious to me. Therefore, he exalted himself to show mercy to me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For Yahweh, he is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Those who wait for Yahweh, Yahweh shall not be put to, to shame. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty Those who wait for Yahweh shall not be put to shame. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. No eye has seen, no eye has seen a God beside thee who works for those who wait for him. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. 
for those who wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, uh, that for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Lord, that you answered our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.